we have also the use of what we call antenatal corticosteroids. These corticosteroids, once labor has started and there's no way of reversing it and we know we are going to expect a preterm baby, the mother is given an injection of a steroid to help mature the lungs of the baby. One of the issues in uh, preterms, they have problems breathing because the lungs are not mature. So that steroid injection will help in maturing the lungs. Then the minute we know we're expecting a preterm delivery at the hospital, uh, we have policies and guidelines for adequate preparation. These babies lose heat very fast. Their skin is very thin. So they, the, the, from, for them to get what we call hypothermia is very quick. So we encourage that they're delivered in a warm area. They are put on immediate what we call skin to skin, which is for all babies, but more so importantly for these babies who are without complications. Then uh, keeping that warm chain for that baby so there are things we call like plastic wraps or just keeping that environment warm. If they have complications, uh, intervening early uh, to manage these complications, breathing especially, they have what they are prone to respiratory distress syndrome. So as a country, we have uh, scaled up the use of what we call continuous positive airway pressure to help these babies breathe. So we, we, we have uh, guidelines on this and we'll be launching our comprehensive newborn care protocols tomorrow, which give a guide on how to manage these conditions that uh, uh, affect the preterm.